So one of the best things you can do inside of X Leads is follow up with your motivated sellers and follow up with your leads inside of marketing. Now, those are technically two separate things when it comes to wholesaling, but what I'm gonna do is show you exactly how to do both of these inside of X Leads so you can follow up with your already warm leads and follow up with your sellers if you wanna do a more sophisticated marketing campaign. So let's talk about the marketing side first because everyone wants to get into how do I follow up with the leads? Let's talk about the marketing side first. And there's a ton we already have in here. So for example, if we go here in our dashboard and go to our deal board, there are plenty of marketing strategies that we can do that have the deal boards involved. So one of the main ones is going to be your on market follow ups. So it's pretty cool if you go out here in your automations and you play around with the on market stuff, you're going to find you're going to have tons of follow ups with the marketing. And so if we do with the on market folder, and let's say we're going to be doing a dual agency blaster, which I'll explain in a second. Again, we're going to go out here and put a lead inside of the dual agency blaster. What's going to happen, it's going to do some quick math operations to figure out what the the double commission is going to be for the realtor. It's going to send an initial email. Then it's going to wait and do a follow-up SMS after about two minutes. And so that's technically a follow-up. Uh, then from there, if they do not reply back, it's going to send a follow-up SMS, follow-up email, and then they're going to remove it from the workflow. Again, just circling back, give me a shout out, right? The cool part about this follow-up sequence is you don't really have to guess or do any work on the follow-up. It's automatically done for you here. So if you're doing on-market stuff, that's pretty cool. Now, a lot of these leads on the on market, I kind of put them what I call the follow up graveyard. Uh, so again, if a lead goes from on market, then the realtor does not reach out to them again. We just throw them sucker into the follow up graveyard just to be followed up every three days, every two days, and every three days, just following up via email on our deals, trying to do the on market wholesaling. But that's on the on market stuff. Let's say you want to do this on a triple tap system. And so if you want to do a triple tap, you can just do cold calling, go to the ROS triple tap. And this is kind of the king of marketing follow ups is pretty much you leave a tag here and the tag is ROS Blaster. It's going to do a math operation. So I have to just import your own custom ARV. So whatever you feel like the ARV is, just go to the Google Sheets, create another tab called ARV and create your own ARV. You can even equal it to the wholesale value. And then from there, it's going to find that custom field, multiply it by 0.83. Now, if you have any questions about that, obviously we have a 24 seven live chat support on the bottom right hand corner. If you have any questions with any of our automations, the cool part is going to send an email, a text. And then if they did not reply, it's going to keep following up with a call and a voicemail. If they do, we'll reply back with the AI trying to set them up an appointment to meet them at the house. Now that's roughly marketing automations one-on-one. I think the other really important one is our texting follow-up automations for our marketing leads. So one of these examples is going to be on our SMS ones, where if we have a lead here and let's say we call them in the power dialer and then they don't answer the phone, we need to make sure we follow up with them because they didn't pick up the phone. And so what's really cool is you do a trigger status, no answer, and it's going to send a text saying, hey, I just want to buy your house for all cash. Can I give you an offer. Now, going back to the phone system, and hopefully I'm not going ADHD on you, one of the most important follow-ups you can even have in your business, and maybe some people don't even know about this feature, go to phone numbers, and then you click here to additional settings. There's something called the call text back, which is an amazing follow-up sequence. So what's cool is there's an enable missed callback. So if somebody calls you and you don't answer, it's automatically going to send follow-up basically saying, hey, it's Zach, just missed your call. So you can technically follow up with all your leads right when you missed the call. Now, the moment you've been waiting for, how do the follow-ups work for your leads? Uh, so this one's pretty dang simple. I have it all set up perfectly inside of the deal board. So if we go here to our wholesaling deal board, it's pretty much done all for you. All you need to do is just put the lead right here under the follow-up tab, and we're going to start following up your leads. So if we go to automations here, go to acquisitions, and we just go to our monthly follow-up on the pipeline, it's going to automatically add the tag follow-up to the lead. And it's going to basically wait every 30 days and just put the lead on a follow-up, checking in on the property. Just a simple 30 day follow up. Now you might be like, Zach, I don't like this. I would rather in my pipeline, there be a faster and better one. Maybe I want to make it a daily follow up. Okay, fine. That, that's fine. We can go change this. Let's just call it a weekly follow up. And what we can do here is just change. Not this, not this. We can go to SMS, not change that. We can go to wait and change it for every seven days press save action. And maybe you're like, Zach, I don't like this follow up snippet. I want my own. Okay, well, you can just change this to your own follow up one follow up month three. Hey, just drove by the house. You could do that. But if you're like, Zach, I even hate your snippets. I am a genius. I'm the greatest person at creating my own scripts. Fine. Okay, so let's go out here and just change this one thing really quick. Okay, let's just change these every seven days. And let's just change the snippets. Okay, save here. All right, we're gonna save these really quick. And let's go back and show you exactly how you can go out here and change your snippets. 
So we're actually going to go back. We're going to click conversations and we're going to click snippets and then we can go out here and change it. So if you don't like the follow up sequence of the checking in, you can just go to edit snippet and change the script however you want. But I don't recommend that. I recommend you just make your own. So if you go to add text snippet, you will like make your own snippet, say follow up weekly. And then you can just say whatever your genius follow up scripts are. But basically, how's it going? And then put the name. So put the custom value. Now a user is going to be you contacts going to be the lead. So go to the contact. How's it going, Jeffrey? Just checking in on you and property. Are you ready to move forward in selling question mark? Maybe that's your new one. Okay, cool. So we're gonna go back to the automations here, go to acquisitions. And remember, this is perfectly tailored to however you want, you can go here and customize it however you want. And if you ever mess up your automations, right, there's always a little history where you can go back here and look at the histories of the changes and go back to the old ones. And if there's ever a main issue here, remember our live chat support on the bottom right can help you out and fix any of your automation issues too. We have to do live zoom support too in here, the best customer customer service in the business. Let's go back here and change the first snippet. So we're going to go to the SMS and we're going to change this to the brand new one. And the snippet we had was a weekly one, changed it just perfectly right here. Now that's saved. Now we have a weekly follow-up sequence all created right here. Now the other thing too is this follow-up pipeline right here, I didn't make a bunch of crazy different ones. If you want, you can go out here and remember if you just put the lead in the wholesaling pipeline on this stage of follow-up, you can customize the wait times, create as many as you want and make your own a daily one, a different daily one, that's another way to do it. Another way I like to do follow-ups, if it's more than like seven days, you can use this pipeline, this sequence, but if it's like a daily follow-up, I'd rather it be a phone follow-up uh, rather than a text follow-up. And I'm notoriously bad for forgetting things sometimes. So what I like to do is on my deal board, so let's use the deal board here. Let's say the Zachary Ginn lead, hey, I need to follow up with him in a day, but not a text, I need a call. And sometimes it gets confusing because sometimes the manual call action in the past power dialer will get just mixed in with your regular dialing. So if you want to make sure you don't forget any follow ups, uh, we're going to go to the Zachary Ginn person right here, we're going to scroll down and we see the tag follow up. So it's going to be followed up. Uh, but also we can do so you never forget anything, which I do is the tasks. So tasks definitely go on my phone, but they're definitely on the dashboard too. So I'm going to add a new task, which is going to be basically follow up with Daniel. I don't know, name Zach, but right, you're gonna be able to follow up with Zach. And you can put the date where it has to be done. Let's call it 10am tomorrow. And you can assign someone on your team to actually do the follow-up. So Zach and my support guy, <laughs> I don't know, press save. And if you go to the front of the dashboard, and this is how I love things, I just go to the dashboard, it says, oh, Zach tomorrow has a follow-up task due. So I never forget it. One thing I always tell my acquisitions people on our team is just look at the tasks that you have to do for the day, because you might put a task in the next four days to do something. Maybe it's like, hey, call the realtor just to confirm or call the brother for something. The follow-ups aren't really for that. That's more that they're not interested, but they're interested in a follow-up. You can also do it in the tasks really depending on how you want to do things but once you do it boom task is done and complete so guys this is a quick training on exactly how to do the follow-up sequences and all the things and follow-ups inside of x leads if you got any value from this video do me a favor make sure you smash the like button subscribe if you want to join x leads go to xleads.com and i'll see you soon this is zach and signing out have a blessed one